Returns, you shall be looking at interest, that simple interest, compound interest, and we shall look at also what we call higher purchase. Higher purchase, it's not interest, but actually, uh, it's it's part uh, part of it has some interest in it. All right. Um, when you look at interest, we look at interest is extra money and on an amount invested or extra money paid on a, on borrowed money. Borrowed money we usually call this what a loan. That extra money, for example, one borrows a thousand rands. You're asked to return 1,500. That 500 become interest. Together, if it was investment, you earn it. If it, if, if it was borrowed, that's uh, uh, charged. All right? Interest rate. Interest rate is a percentage at which this amount is determined or at which interest is created or generated. A percentage at which interest is generated then the principal amount is the original amount of money one borrows or the one uh, amount of money one invests that is it and then interest rate well you have to take note uh, this simple interest it will remain the same it's only charged on the initial amount of money times the number of uh times then the period then compound interest it will or oh, it will change it will change whereby uh, it will always be charged on accumulated values. To always charge on accumulated values. Um, interest rate components. Uh, interest rate components are, can also be uh, calculated differently. Together, uh, interest can be compounded for different periods of time. Together, um, annually. This simply means it's it's accumulated every year at the end of one year you get at the end of one year you at the end of one year that's when you get the interest in together yeah? that's when your money grows interest or that's when the loan gets uh, charged the interest at the end of the year together yeah? this is once a year then if you look at half yearly or by by annual this means um by annual simply means it Earns interest every after six months, half a year. Half a year, it's six months. So because a year has 12 months, then every after six months, this money will be growing interest. Then quarterly, this is every after three months. Together, three months, the money will be growing interest. All right. Then monthly, this means every after uh, every after one month, the money will be growing. Then uh, Benin. Benyao is so, so supposed to be once every two years. All right, then we go. For example, I'm saying uh, if someone invested money, then uh, they are charged 12%. Then uh, for, let's say, three years. Together. So in the beginning, this one will mean 12. But here what happens? The 12, which is the I, interest rate then this is the n the interest rate will be divided by by two and the years will be multiplied by two all right this is i this is n you see that when it comes to quarterly quarterly that means uh 12 divided by four then three times four you see that then monthly monthly simply meaning the 12 will be divided by 12 then uh, the years will be multiplied by 12 then this other part here it will still be let me see uh, divided every after two, two years so simply meaning 12 will be divided by 24 and 3 will be multiplied by 24. Yes, sir. That is it. Then we see this uh, higher purchase. Higher purchase, higher purchase, it's when one buys a certain commodity or uh, uh, an item, but they don't pay cash. They pay a bit of it, which is a deposit. Then the outstanding balance is charged. Uh, 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 
it's charged under a certain percentage. It's charged on a, percent, a certain percentage, or a certain percentage is charged on the out, uh, outstanding balance. Then uh -huh, use of formulas. Remember those are our friends from math uh, mathematics, pure mathematics. You know the formulas of simple interest and compound interest. Please, they are not allowed. Take note of this. These are not allowed. Formulas are not allowed. Remember the formulas that we have for simple interest. Uh, it's A equals to P into 1 plus I N. Then compound interest becomes P into 1 plus I to the power N. Together. Uh -huh. At the end of this video, we expect you to be to actually at the end of this topic, we shall expect you to differentiate between interest rate and interest amount. Then we shall expect you to perform calculations for simple interest, compound interest, and higher purchase. Even from the graph, though it's rare to pick from the graph, but we shall look at that. Okay, let's go and we see one example here. Uh, this was this was an exam from This was an exam from uh, November 2014, paper one. Okay, um, after the death of their father, Nikiwe and Boniwe, each received 100,000 rands from their late father's estate. They both decided to invest the money over a period of three years, according to the following options. Nikiwe took 9.5% per annum, this is simple interest. And Boniwe took 9% compound, compounded annual. So you're saying who will have a larger amount after the three years? Just try your answer with an appropriate calculation. Okay, this will be easy. Let me start with Nikiwe. Nikiwe, simple interest. Simple interest. Remember, simple interest, we said it remains the same. When Nikiwe, simple interest. So you will take 9,5% times the money that she invested. This is only interest. Multiply this by 3. Multiply that by 3, 9,5 times 100,000. So the interest in only one year will be 9,500. Multiply it by three. We have 8,500 plus the money that she invested. So at the end of the, at the end of the day, she has 100. 28,500 runs. This is Nikiwe. That is Nikiwe. Let me do Bongi on the side here. I didn't move the question because I wanted you to see what I'm doing with the question in your eyes. All right, let's go and see. Uh, Bongi, uh, Boniwe, it's 9% compounded annually. Now, for compound, since we said it keeps changing, we are going to say, But anyway, we shall say 9 over 100 times. This will become 9,000. Add on the 100,000. It becomes 109,000. But this will be for the first year. So we shall go on again, use the same percentage times the money that is there in the first year. You add on the same money, the same money. The interest is this much plus the money
Then the third year it will be 9 over 100 times. We have the interest of this much plus the same money. So Boniwe has 129,502 rands, 90 cents, whereas Nikiwe has 128,500. Yes, whoever, remember the question says, who will get a larger amount? So the question, the answer is who? Boniwe. But seven marks because you had to calculate this. Uh, another method for Boniway, all you had to do because it's compound interest, get a hundred percent plus the nine percent, you get one zero nine percent. All right, now a hundred uh, uh, one zero nine percent, the same as one comma zero nine. Now multiply that, get the Get the one one comma zero nine one comma zero nine times a hundred thousand. Yeah, this is the money that she will get. This is the first year. Then this being the first year, this being the first year. We go on the second year. The second year will do the same. Get the one comma zero. But you might play it with this value here. You get the answer as that much. This is another method for doing compound interest. Then the third year will become that much. You get your final answer. This is your final answer. Please do not add the values because remember the interest has been uh, coming on, being added. So still here we have the answer as Boniway. Anyway.